All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to actually get clients on LinkedIn and also how to actually get positive responses and sales opportunities from your outreach. So I'm gonna walk through the exact steps with you. I'm gonna show you live examples. I'm gonna demo the stuff that I'm using that's working right now so that you can go and do this as well. But before we do that, if you are new to this channel or if this is the second or more video that you've watched and you're getting value out of this content, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And it also helps to show it to other people who can benefit from this as well. These videos are free for you to watch, but they take a lot of time and energy for me to come up with the ideas and shoot and produce and create for you. So if you are getting value out of it, all I ask is that you just hit the like and subscribe button and it would really help me out. And with that said, let's get into this strategy now. How do you actually get clients on LinkedIn and how do you send outreach messages that get positive responses? So. Let's start with, and this is a two prong strategy. So let's start with the first prong, which is your inbound strategy. So treat or think about your LinkedIn profile like a sales funnel or a landing page in itself. So we have a targeted cover photo that, that shares a message of, of what I do. We have my headline that's optimized for that. We have the link here, which links to my email list, the Rainmaker report. The featured posts here are also tailored to attract my ideal client. And then I also have my content feed here. So you wanna optimize and dial all that stuff in to make sure it's attracting the right person that you wanna work with and that you can help. So the way that the inbound strategy works is every day you're gonna be adding new people who are in your market. So I connect with a lot of course creators and coaches and consultants. So every day I'm adding new people in those markets to my audience. And what most people do is they don't post any kind of content. They don't have any inbound strategy to nurture those people and move them closer and closer to a sale or wanting to work together. And so that's what you need to do here. Once you optimize your profile, you need consistent content going out that is tailored and relevant to your ideal client. So if I go to posts here, I post twice a day. I post once in the morning around 7 a.m. And that's usually like a shorter uh, chopped up form of my email. Okay. And then I also post in the evening around 5, 6 p.m. And that's a shorter post. So you can see yesterday, this was 5 p.m. This is about my schedule. I shot like a quick screenshot of it. And that was it. It's a short to the point post. And in the mornings there, this is from this morning. It's a bit longer. It's medium to longer posts, medium to longer form. And so you can see here, I sent this out to my email list as well. And this goes out in the morning slot. But the reason you want to do this is because if you don't have content going out, you don't have an inbound strategy, you have to do so much more work to close the deal, to close the sale, because the person doesn't know you. They don't know what you do or how you can help them. And they're not seeing any of your results or like what you know and, and your expertise. And so that's what your content does. It moves people closer and closer. It's like a little salesperson that works for you and gets thousands of views without you having to talk one-on-one -on -one to thousands of people. So every day I post two pieces of content. You don't have to post two pieces of content every single day, but I do recommend having a regular schedule where you're doing at least three posts a week. So the more the better, as long as you're being relevant and useful to your audience. And that is the inbound strategy. So you tailor your, your profile to your ideal client and you're posting consistent content to warm them up and nurture them and show them more about what you can do. And that will help you to generate conversations over time. But what we don't want to do is just rely on inbound alone. I mean, you can if you already have an audience, but if you don't have an audience, you need to go and tell people about what you do and connect with them. So the outbound strategy is you are virtually knocking on doors. So you're going out to the market, you're finding people that you want to work with. I work with coaches, consultants, and course creators. So I'm finding those people on LinkedIn. You can also do this through cold email. And I'm reaching out to them, I'm connecting with them, and then I'm sending them a useful piece of content. And it's actually a sales letter as well. So I'm gonna show you an example of that. Here is the outbound message that I'm sending right now. And it says, hey, whatever their first name is, thank you for connecting. I'm always looking to connect with interesting people and was intrigued when I came across your profile. I specialize in helping coaches, consultants, and course creators sell their big ticket programs without a sales call. We have a system using email, social posts, chat DMs, and video sales letters. You can see case studies and a full breakdown of how we do it here. And this links to this document here, which you might have seen before. And there's also a YouTube video. And so it's a useful piece of content. It's pretty in depth. They can go through it. It's 43 pages and get a result on their own if they want with this document alone. So it is a very useful piece of content. And not many people are doing this. Every message that I get on LinkedIn is people just trying to pitch me and get me on a phone call. And I don't know them for Jack. 
So I'm not saying that will never work, but it's becoming harder and harder to do that because everyone is doing that. It's just a, it's just a pitch slap every day. Every day they just send you a message and it's like, let's get on the call. So I am doing something different here by leading with a useful piece of content that is also a sales letter. So at the end of this, there's actually an invitation to work together to build it out. And I reference that in this message as well. If you'd like me to set this up for you, please let me know. I guarantee 100,000 minimum in six months. Either way, it's great to connect with you on LinkedIn. So let's look at the dialogue once I sent this. So this person said, thank you, Sean, I'll check it out for sure. Thank you, sounds good. My checkout, I checked out your site and think it could wor work well with that. And so I personalize it to her site. Let me know if it's worth a chat sometime. Yes, I'd love to chat. I message you phone this on Facebook. Do you have a schedule link? Now I do a lot of my sales through chat. Sometimes I get on the phone if they really want to. She is, she looks like someone I can really help. So I was like, okay, let's just have a chat and let's see if I can get more information about her business and see if I can actually help her. So I, I dropped my link and we're going to be chatting tomorrow about this. But this is an example of the types of responses that, that I get. And I also have a prospect list here. My VA fills this out every day. She fills up the followers, the offer, whether or not they're posting content. And convo yes or no means am I having a positive conversation with them? If I put no, that just means they didn't respond or they said no thank you, not interested. So all the ones marked yes, they're not all going to close, but they're all having positive conversations like, oh, this sounds interesting or tell me more about this or maybe we got on a call. And so very simple Google sheet that's just tracking this, all the leads from, from LinkedIn that I'm talking to and connecting with. And the, the message itself and the outbound strategy is having a useful piece of content, having a clear outcome of what you help people with. And then I just have a very friendly conversational offer. Hey, if you'd like me to set this up for you, please let me know. I guarantee 100,000 minimum in six months. But either way, it's great to connect with you on LinkedIn. So not pushy, not annoying, not aggressive. It's just, hey, thanks for connecting. I saw you're in this market. I actually help people like you with this thing here. I have a breakdown with proof of how it works with this, with this link here. If you'd like me to set this up, please let me know. I guarantee you this, but either way, it's great to connect with you. It's a very friendly, open message. And this sticks out because I know it sticks out because I'm getting a ton of positive responses. I, can, I can't even keep up with the amount of conversations I'm having, but I know it st stands out because I get pitched every day and no one is doing this. Like no one is leading with anything useful. It's just, let's just jump straight in a call. And most people don't even have proof that what they do works. So we're doing that all in one. We're leading with a useful piece of content. And this is also generating clients for people who want to set this up together. And this is a very expensive offer. A lot of people actually close just through chat alone. And so that is the LinkedIn client getting strategy. We have inbound where you optimize your profile to call out to your ideal client. And you're also posting content consistently as people are joining your network so they can see more about what you do. It's sales at scale. And then we have the outbound strategy, which is you reaching out and virtually knocking on doors of people that you want to connect with and telling them a bit about what you do. But the difference is you're leading with something useful, a useful piece of content here. Okay. So that's my strategy from there. What happens is a chat conversation starts and that can lead into a sell if that's, if that's part of your sales process or a phone call is booked and that leads into your sales and conversion process. And so that is how I'm using LinkedIn to get clients. I hope this was useful, the inbound and outbound strategy. If it was, give it a like. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And also let me know in the comments what you think about this content, the direct and to the point content. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you want to see something else? Let me know in the comments. Would love to hear from you. But other than that, it's going to wrap up this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.